I'm sitting outside the offices of uh, Blade. Um, that's CBC, so just going past the shot, going to change uh, the presenter of our new sports show. There's Blade, that's me, and in front of me is Warren. So, Warren? Siraj? Why did Blade jump on board on this project? Um, because Blade is traditionally a post production facility. Um, but as we all know, our game has changed so much in terms of television that uh, we all have to mix it up to make sure we make our bread. Um, so we realized that we can't just use a helicopter, is that going to bother you? A few of us TV people from different sectors of the television industry have come together to say, look, we've got all these machines, we've got all the expertise to create content. Why don't we just pull it all together and start looking after ourselves? Today is a big day for, for me, for my company and for the team. Besides being content creators, um, we're also becoming content owners. How's it good? All good, all good, all good. See, yeah, look, everything's about content. Um, if, if you think about it, traditionally what we do is we are part of the wheel that creates content for someone else. The opportunities of creating content are not really that viable to many people who've got great ideas. And what hampers them is the cost. So if we start partnering with the right people and providing the equipment, the gear and the, the high-end uh, expertise that we have, we allow them to come in at a far more favorable cost where we can create content. And I want to say it again, content is everything. It's creating the content and putting on different types of formats, not just linear TV, but all the other, other mediums that are available, such as streaming and what have you. The significance about embarking upon something like this is that we never owned IP before, and now we go from having just to produce things for someone else and just being involved with the IP, now we're owning IP, so that's really exciting. So it's a brand new phase of our lives and um, we're giddy about it. We're nearly there guys, we're just uh, putting the photographs into the set. Uh, so we see sort of... People like Alpha Cam are on board because they've got OB vans. People like yourself, Siraj, is a content person, uh, a content creator. Even though I'm, I, I'm running Blade, uh, Blade Post Productions, but my background is live television and making television series. Uh, Nikki, who's also around, she's a producer. She's produced a lot of big shows. Now you imagine you bring all those people together, all, all to work under one common cause, to create content and put it out there and see what happens to it is a lot easier when you're all together, when you collaborate. And I think that's what we're doing. We're collaborating so that we can exploit future opportunities. The relationship between our company, Circle 7 Media, Bladeworks and AlphaCam is an amazing uh, 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 relationship. This relationship has allowed us to create amazing content cheaply, but not um, jeopardizing the quality of the, the, the image and the quality of the sound. Traditionally, if someone wanted to use an outside broadcast facility for a studio, the logistics costs of moving our OB van and gear, setting up, rigging, putting it together is obviously quite considerable. Here, we have the OB van parked at our premises, cables right into the studio. The studio is there, it's a very quick setup time. And if we want to do post production, we just send it straight through to Blade, which is right next to the studio, and the post is done. So there's no logistics cost. Setup time is down next to nothing. Costs are really, really attractive. So if, if you imagine a normal green sheet farming would be like that, then it goes to post production, then all the work is put into create this, how much time this takes. We do the whole thing at once in the van. So when it comes to infrastructure and just the way things are laid out here at um, the AlphaCam studio, it's, um, it has a massive impact on the budget because as producers we face the issue that, you know, clients don't have the money that they once had. You know, you can't go to, you know, a client with 10 million rand or 8 million rand. You know, now you can turn around and do something for a fraction of the price and you can shoot several episodes in one day. And that certainly will make it worthwhile for, um, for the clients and as well as for us. So that's pretty big for us actually. I always say my disability has actually benefited me in my sporting career at the end of the day. What was the highlight of the three shows for you? Having, to, having to work with Siraj was a huge highlight for me. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, today's shoot went really well. We managed to shoot three episodes in about three and a half hours, probably more four hours. And uh, right there, we've made a saving. I mean, it just goes to show that we can actually shoot probably six in a day. We pushed hard. And um, yeah, I think the content was really good. It was interesting. It was uninterrupted. Uh, and I think it has the potential to, to travel.